Do you want to see your CPU and GPU temperature live in Windows 11 taskbar? We are going to make this happen. Let's dive in. Download this software, search hwinfo, hwinfo.com is the website, press on the free download. In here, in the installer part, go to free download and hit on source work, fast CDN. You'll move into this page, five, four, three, two, one. Hold on, your download, it will be start. We are going to install an app that shows you your CPU and GPU temperature live on your taskbar. The app name is hwinfo. I double click on it. In here, you need to press on the OK. Next, you need to accept the agreements. Again, next. This part is going to tell you that I'm going to install this software on this location. So you need to press on the next. Because I'm going to reinstall it, I will see this text. You won't see this one. In here, I press on the next and press on the install. All done. With this way, we can install it. I let this checkbox enable. When this checkbox is enabled, it means that I'm going to launch this software. And I press on the finish. Okay, when you launch this app, you'll see these options. Okay, at the first part, you'll see your CPU, your motherboard, your memory modules, and your GPU. With this app, you can also find out your CPU and GPU model name and also you can find your main board name okay the model of your motherboard okay you need to press on this sensor part I press on the sensor in this place you can see your CPU temperature okay which is right now on 40 you can see your GPU temperature Two. In this way, we can see our CPU and GPU temperature, right? As, a, as you can see, my core temperature is on 40 and my GPU temperature, let me find it, is on 54. Okay, I'm going to add my GPU and CPU temperature on the taskbar. So, I scroll to find out my CPU. This is my CPU model, right? I right click and press on add to tray it will be added in here if I want I can change the color of that I right click and press on the change color if you want you can change it I actually don't change it because the color mix is good and if you want to add your GPU temperature this one is my GPU I right click and press on the add tray okay with this way we can add our CPU and GPU temperature. You need to do a bunch of things. You need to let some checkbox enables. So I press on the settings. In here, I actually didn't press and enable anything. These are the things that needs to be checked. Okay, this one, this one, and these things. Make sure these settings on this page is similar with the settings that you set. And again, I press on the main settings this place is general setting and user interface settings this part is this so you need to enable these options disable this one and enable this ones okay this one this says that there is a show welcome screen okay if you enable this one when you turn on your device you will see a welcome screen i actually don't really like it so disable it and enable these options that i enable press on the ok okay and close all done with this way you can see your cpu and gpu temperature live and if you put your mouse cursor on it you will see minimum average minimum maximum and the average of your cpu temperature average of that is 43 minimum temperature is 41 and maximum is 45 for me you can also see your GPU temperature, minimum, maximum, and the average of that. All done. If you want, you can watch this video too. On that one, I'm going to talk more about Windows Power Plan. You need to enable a bunch of things to get most hardware performance out of your PC and laptop. That's not different. The PC and laptop is not different. I recommend you to watch it. See you at the next one.